Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, the glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wakia Bahakraf, and I say Shalom. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Bahashem, and the name Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, from ArabNews.com, and it reads: Turkish warplane strike Kurdish militant positions in Iraq after attack kills soldier and wounded four. It says Turkish Turkish tanks are seen as Turkish gender mean standard guard near the harbor crossing gate between Turkey and Iraq. A military drill at Select Park District AFP file photo. It says the PKK designated a group by Turkey, the United States and European Union took up arms against the Turkish state in 1984. This was updated uh April, I mean uh, March the 20th, 2024 from AP as of March 19th, 2024 and it reads Turkey carry out a new round of airstrikes targeting Kurdish militants in neighboring Iraq on Tuesday. Turkey's defense minister said hours after a Turkish soldier was killed and four others were wounded in the attack in the region. Turkey often launched strikes in, against targets in Syria and Iraq, which believes to be affiliated with the Kurdistan workers. The party or the PKK a banned Kurdistan separatist group that was waged in insurgents against Turkey since 1980s. Wow, been a while. It says on Tuesday, the Turkish warplane struck suspected PKK positions in the Mintinia, Zap, Harkul, Gura, and Kwandia region in the northern Iraq semi autonomous Kurdish region. According to the minister's statement, the jets reportedly uh, destroyed 27 PKK targets, including caves, bunkers, and shelters. There were, um, there were no immediate comment from the PKK. And this is the book of Ezekiel. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm bring up that Ezekiel, uh, second address first. This is uh, Second Edges 15, verse 15. For the sword and the destruction, <clears throat> draw nine. And one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in hands, right? The Turkish armies against the Kurdistan armies throughout the borders of Iraq and Syria. Uh, second Edges 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They should not regard their kings, nor their princes in the course of their actions. Should stand in their power. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter nine, and verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and up, up worlds of the people of the world, <coughs> and this is the book of Ezekiel, thirty-eight, verse six. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomor of the north quarters, and his bands and many people with thee. Right, Gomer, which is the modern-day Turks, as we see in the rise and escalators are escalation tensions are heating up between the uh, Kurdistan armies and the uh, Kurdish, right, the, against the Turkish armies, against the Kurdistan armies, which is a, uh, then you have the uh, Turkey back, uh, I mean, the uh, Kurd pro-Kurdistan armies that's affiliated and that's allies with the Kurdistan armies, which is the PKK, uh, in the YPG as well too. That's why you're having uh, ongoing uh, operations are heating up over there in Iraq and uh, Syria because the president of uh, Turkey made that statement not too long ago to continue operations over there in Iraq and over there in Syria as well too. So tensions are continuing to escalate between the uh, Turkish armies and the Kurdistan armies right along with the pro-Kurdistan affiliated allies that's with uh, Kurdistan, which is the PKK and the YPG as well too, as I've mentioned before. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying from the ArabNews.com. 
and it reads once again, Turkish warplanes strike Kurdish, Kurdish militant positions in Iraq after attack killed soldier and wounded four. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash, and the Heavenly Father. The true name is like Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, and the name Hamashiach Yahushai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Ashwan Kadash, the Lutum. And until next time, I will say Shalom.